Hello everybody, so today I thought I'd do a makeup look and I'm going to be doing a warm smoky brown eye. So this is the look, I think it looks stunning for autumn, especially now we're coming closer to autumn, wear it, just wear this look to death. I hope you enjoy me creating this makeup look. The next look will be me bare face. So starting with the very reflective Becca palette. This is the Becca Ombre Rouge palette. First, I'm going to take the first one, this one, just as a base, which is one one. I'm just going to take this hard triple ended fluffy side brush, and I'm going to take not the flat end, but shader end of the brush, and I'm put it in almost like the base skin colour. Oh, look at that smoke. I'm just taking this off. Next on the same palette, I'm going to be using this burnt orange shade, which is such a nice colour. So I'm putting that all over the crease, and as you can see on my pale skin, this is quite a orange shade. The brush I'm using is this Spectrum Marble Brush. It's one of the longer fluffy ones, as you can see. It's quite tapered, but it's really good blending. In the crease, it's just fab at blending. Now I've blended that, I'm now going to take another Spectrum brushes. I love these brushes. And this is more of the smaller tapered pencil brushes. I'm just taking this plum, plummy purple shade, just tapping that in. This colour and the inner third of the eye. So I'm just going to take that and just blend it along the lash line. Blending it along the lash line, back and forth. When I go to the inner third, I'm just dragging it up. I just love this shade, I think it's such a pretty shade. I think these colours as well, the purple and the, uh, the bit orange, just go really well together. They really complement each other. And I never really think to put these colours together. Just blending it with my finger. I'm then taking the same brush I had before and I'm going to take the orange shade, which is number four in the palette, and then again yeah, just blending that in the crease. Blend it all nice, smoky and wet. Next I'm taking this body shop brush, which has got a ring liner brush. On the side is a flat shader brush. So I'm taking the ring liner shade, charmed. Taking the ring line aside and taking the purple, just again it's the lash line. So now I've just done that, just sharpen up the edge, just smokes it up, and then it just blends in that line. Then to that side of the brush now, the other side, giving it into the exact same colour and blend. I'm just going to add the lighter shade. Of the in the palette, of the palette, in the palette. Now, add this lighter shade here, it's like what I used as a base. Just going to be using my pinky and then just adding that to the corner. Just doing that makes it brighter in the corner and it smokes out. We love it. Because the eye is all matte on the lid, I thought to spice it up, like I've done on this side, add glitter. I love glitter. Adding that pale colour makes it so nice. This is the Ted Baker eyeshadow palette and it's got these most stunning shades ever. Oh, I love them. These eyeshadows are so pigmented, so I've decided to use this one in the middle here and put it under lash line to make it pop. I think it looks really nice, considering everything on my eyelid is matte. Adding that glitter just makes the eyeshadow really come together. So I'm using this winged liner brush from Nature, and I'm just going to literally just go underneath my lash line with this. It's so pigmented. This could be used in any gold eyeshadow. It doesn't have to be my product. So if you can recreate this with any colours you've got, Makeup Geek do a lot of eyeshadows like this actually. Like these colours, you could easily recreate this with any other eyeshadow palette you have. Once you've done that, I'm just going to add eyeliner and mascara, and then that's it. Because this eyeshadow is quite a brown look, I think black will do too much of it. And I'm just going to be using my Tarte eyeliner. 
picking my eyelash candles, which are um, these are just primal copper ones. For mascara, I'm going to take Roller Lash, Benefit Roller Lash. This is my favourite mascara. Wow! This is the eye makeup look done. It looks stunning. For my base, I'm going to use the Max, Max, the Max Studio Fix in NC50. So I'm just taking a pump of this on the back of my hand. To buff my foundation out, I'm going to be using my Zoeva Silk Finish Brush. I'm going to set my forehead first with Too Faced Panda Paulus Powder. Set my forehead and then go back to the seal. So I'm just going to take the. Oh, what brush is this? This is the Dual Bag Contour Brush, which I clearly do not use for contour. I'm going to do it here as well and just not touch the eyes because I'm going to have seal of that. This is really good, by the way. I love the packaging. It's so cute. It's pink and it's toothpaste. Such a cute patch. So I'm taking the Rimmel, no, I'm taking the Collection Lost Imperfection Concealer and putting that under my eyes. Blending it in with my Real Techniques Bold Metals um, 200 brush. Dotting this in the corner of my eyes. I'm kind of going under here. What a night tick. Just basically draw a night tick and do it by yourself. Blending that in. Just cut off that So I'm basically just doing a V shape under my eyes and I'm blending it down. This is such a good brush for concealer. It's Next I'm going to bake. I love baking concealers, it's the best thing ever. And I'm going to be using the Rimmel Match Perfection Silkies Pink Face Powder. And to put a bit in the lid. Let's just leave that. I'm just taking my Real Technique Complexion Spoon. Oh, I don't know. It's a Real Technique Spoon. I could just be rolling in baby powder or just put my head in baby powder. I'm taking the same brush as before and then brush away. It is a good brush. Just sort of. For contour, I'm going to be using my ABH contour. This is my baby It's so sleek, the packaging is just beautiful. And I love this palette so much. Can't tell you. I'm going to be taking another Real Techniques brush. I love Real Techniques. And um, this is Real Techniques Targeted Blending Brush, which I don't use it for blending into contour. Taking this middle shade and then sucking the old pink. And then just taking my old metals pound brush and basically just buffing my hair. Then taking my Zoeva Sheer Cheek, Look Sheer Cheek brush, what an awful. And taking, I forgot which one to take. Take this one, just take it off the back of my hand. And then my forehead. Temples, you know. Lastly, I'm going to be taking my 
gorgeous Urban Decay Sin Highlighter. This is the Afterglow Highlighter. This is what I look for. This is stunning. I just love it. I just, oh. 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 It's amazing. It was like bold metal brush. This is the cheap brush. Oh, it's, it's 300 brush. It's more precise than I can just slathering this all over my face. Okay, so to finish off the makeup look, I have to finish off the lip, of course. I'm going to be using matte persistence to finish off this makeup look. This is like a orangey nude, and I think it's so pretty. This is the finished makeup look. and my lip really goes with the eyes. So, I hope you like this makeup look. If you did, give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I will be uploading frequently now and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Sorry? I'm bringing the car outside my house. Oh. I just look like I've just been rolling in baby pup, baby. <laughs>